So hi everyone, welcome to Stanford. I am Nguyen Tin Chung. Um, I am a um, democracy activist with more than 16 years of experience in this, in this field. And I am also a former uh, political prisoner. I was one of the founders of the Democratic Party of Vietnam. Then the authority charged me for overthrowing the people's government. And then they sentenced me to three, uh, seven years in jail and three years in the probation. So um, in recent years, I have uh, repeatedly witnessed that many young newcomers of the democratic movement arrested uh, after a few months they engaged in the democratic movement. Uh, I was put in jail when I was young. At that time, I was 25 years old, and I feel deeply sorry for them. Usually young people, uh, after having realized there is a lot of social injustice, such as uh, rampant corruption, uh, people being robbed of their land, or innocent people being convicted uh, wrongly, uh, simply cannot keep calm. They decided to fight a tyranny and uh, started writing Facebook posts um, criticizing the authorities. They threw themselves immediately into an uphill battle and found themselves uh, in jail after a few months. This is a huge loss to the democratic movement. Hence, um, I would like to share some thoughts uh, with you uh, to stop this sad phenomenon and hope it will be useful to young democratic leaders in the future. So I have uh, four pieces of advice. Uh, first, uh, keep calm and be patient. Uh, do not jump into action hastily. Uh, transforming a nation with um, tens of millions of people is extremely difficult. It requires the efforts of many people and it takes a long time. Um, that's why um, you should uh, find out about um, individuals and organizations fighting for democracy and also about civil society organizations. Learn about their goals, their strategy, um, their activities. Which one is best suited to your psychology, to your condition? And remember that not everything is exposed on the internet. And that's why you must uh, make friends with as many experienced activists as possible and listen to their advice. And it takes time to build trust. Uh, before they can tell you everything um, about what they do. And one more important thing is um, seeking friends uh, who have a similar interest in democracy like you um, to do the research on democratic movement together, uh, exchange ideas and brainstorm. A second, <clears throat> uh, you should study and understand the basic notions what does democracy, human rights, freedom, the rule of law, and civil society mean? Why are they important? And what is your vision for your country? You must have a basic knowledge of the constitution, of the penal code, of the criminal procedure code, and you must also equip yourself with minimum knowledge in cybersecurity. It is a must if you want to survive in your battles against tyranny. Your phone, your laptop, your email accounts are the targets of the authorities. Third, you uh, should fully understand the consequences of your decision to fight for democracy. Lose your job, be expelled from school, a family receiving threat, be beaten, and even be imprisoned. So do you accept this risk? That's why you should have a plan B. What would your family and friends uh, do if you were arrested? And a clever idea is to sign a contract with a human rights lawyer in advance uh, because the police may claim that you do not need a lawyer uh, when you are in jail. Yeah, at, at that time, no one can contact you. And remember that you have the right to remain silent. So um, for um, at this stage, uh, you uh, devise a plan with concrete goals. And remember that teamwork and collaboration 
are indispensable to do colossal tasks such as transforming a nation. And um, you should know about the three red lines that you must try not to cross, at least publicly, which are joining a political organization, receiving funds from overseas, and resorting to violence. Uh, so when you have a concrete plan, uh, then go ahead, but please try to do the simple and uh, safe thing first to gain experience and then gradually increase your circle, your influence, and your impact. So for conclusion, uh, many people despair and do not believe in the final victory of democracy. They feel they are weak, helpless individuals and cannot do anything to change the society. At the same time, tyrants are too powerful with the army and police. They forgot that many of the country have a successful in democratization. As Nelson Mandela put it, it always seems impossible until it's done. So knowledge, skills, and endurance are determining factors for the outcome of the battles between activists and tyrants, between the good and the evil. And to be prepared is have the victory, so let's prepare well before you take action. So in my hand is an authentic piece of brick taken from the Berlin Wall. It came down in 1989, marking the collapse of the Iron Curtain of the Soviet Union. So the phone is a reminder to us that any prison, any walls erected by tyrants will eventually be shattered by humans' desire for freedom. So congratulations and welcome on board. You and I, democracy activists, are making history together. And tyrants are definitely on the wrong side of history. So let's make history together. Thank you. <laughs>